of God. How am I going to reach these people? The crippled beggar was right. I don't understand everyone a little. And they, they understand everyone less. Whenever I say the word God, they keep saying, God is all, all is God. But you pray hard, Lord God. Do whatever it takes to open these people's ears to the good news of your son, Jesus Christ. No matter what the cost will be. Oh, oh no, that's Pamela time. He hates our fondness. Oh my God. Now we are in trouble. Welcome. I heard you yesterday in the bazaar. And I want my wife to hear as well. That is wonderful. Is there something you do not understand? Maybe I can explain it more clearly. Understand? <laughs> no, 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 no. I want my wife to hear the kinds of things you say. You are rather entertaining your own way. Entertaining? Yes, my husband told me that you are preaching a new kind of God. We can always use it the God. Hmm. Only if the God is worth using. I'm not convinced that this Jew's God is quite worth worrying about. What makes your God so interesting anyway? My God is the only true God. All of the rest are simply human creations. Don't be ridiculous. There are a million gods in the universe at least. I don't blame you for thinking that. But I assure you that there's only one God who's the creator of everything that exists. But don't you understand, stranger, that we also are part of God, and that God is in us as well? Everything is God, and there can be no creator, because everyone knows that all of the creation is really God, and God is all of the creation. No. Before the beginning, only God existed. He himself is the only God. But that is simply not possible! Would you like me to tell you the story of creation? I have heard all kind of crazy stories like this. I do not believe any of them. I love stories. Before the beginning, only God existed.
scripture. Our scriptures tell a story which begins at God's creation of everything and ends with the coming of the Son of God. This! Isn't it that you sense the story? Senseless? You say that Peter God is only God? It is obvious that the world is filled with gods. He is a God for sin, he is a God for moon, for the ground and for the air. And it is also obvious that God is everything and everything is God. Personally, I find it more insulting for you to say that your God is the only God, as if you have the only truth. But what? I read is true. Oh no, something bad is about to happen. What right do you have to defend the ways of our people? The Creator God has sent me to bring the good news of His salvation. We do not need your salvation, Jew! How can I stop them? I am an untouchable. If I offend either Bhamilan Sahib or Rabe Sahib, I am dead for sure. I tell you all this because Jesus Christ, the Son of God, told me personally that every human being must turn to Him in order to be saved from God's anger. How arrogant you are! If you keep saying such things, we have to silence you! Foreigner! 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 An untouchable child has fallen to the river, and I need your help in saving her. Would you help me? Of course, for the child is untouchable! We are too late. Uh, almost too late. But we made it in the nick of time. Where is she then? Who? The girl, of course. What girl? The dying girl you know. The girl who was running. Oh. That girl. <laughs> she stayed with her parents back in the town. And does not exist. And does not exist. Uh, I mean, she... Uh, she... Does not exist. Precisely. But Bhamilan Sahib and Rabe Sahib do exist. And they get angry very easily. Oh, I see. So you were protecting me from that. And you would be better than the little girl in the river if I didn't care. Pariah, why do you care what happens to me? Oh, uh, uh, I, uh, I, <laughs> you're just too entertaining to lose this quickly. Well, Thank you for your concern. You don't have to worry about me, however. If my heavenly God want to bring me to heaven now, that is fine with me. I would, however, like to be here long enough to see at least one of your people coming to faith in Jesus Christ. <laughs> I don't think anyone could live long enough to see that happen. <laughs> well, my rescuer, I must go into town now. <laughs> But it's safer for you here by the river. If I were concerned about my own safety, I never would have come here. You would be better off if you hadn't come. But the people of this city would not. Somehow somebody must hear my good news and believe. What about you? Uh, me? Oh. Uh, uh, your story about the creator was uh, strange. Is that bad? Neither good nor bad, just just strange. Then walk with me back to the city bazaar. Uh, <laughs> I don't think it will be safe for you, for your cause. If you were seen uh, walking with an untouchable cripple. My master chose many outcasts to be his followers. Some even to be leaders. If he was not ashamed to walk with them. I could not be ashamed to walk with you. Thank you.